Thanks for tuning in to Burber Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, we've got new riff. I've got a single barrel store pick and a four year ride. I've heard so many good things about new riff that I had to run out and give myself a bottle. I didn't see him too much in my market. I was on my way back from a golf tournament that I got a chance to marshal. Yes, I saw some big names. Pick these two up. Let's get it. Bottle drop, bottle drop. is great. I mean, I'm going to get into the nose and nose and the taste and notes. You know how I do it. Pour a little bit in the glass, not trying to get too much in there so I can get some of the good nose and notes out of it. Do the same thing with the rye. This uh, four-year rye, it's not bad either, man. It's not bad. I got this one from one of my local liquor stores. I was surprised. That was the first time I walked in and saw a new rib product. Then I go into another local liquor store around here and I see another new rib. So that is good news for me. That means that we are about to start getting new rib down here in Southern Maryland. Let's get into the bourbon. The single barrel has this beautiful fruity nose. It, it hits you with a little bit of lemon. It hits you with some of those like apricot and peaches. Maybe even like a pineapple slash mango. Yeah, I would I would go more towards pineapple. Wow. I mean, the nose on it is great. It's it's just bright. It's light and bright. And neither one of these are more than four years old. I mean, they're they're a little over four, but they're not like close to five. And to get what they're getting out of a four-year product is just amazing to me. Yeah, I've, I've, that's a beautiful nose. I've got to tip my hat to New Griff on that one. Let's go into the rye. There it is, that grassy soil note that I get out of rye. And when I first started drinking rye and I started messing with the bullet rye, which was one of my favorites, I don't drink it. I, you won't even see a bottle in here these days. But that note never hit me. And then all of a sudden, one day out of the blue, and every once in a while on some rise, I will get like this dill note. But out of the blue, it just hit me with like this grassy note on the palate and a grassy note in the nose. This one has that grassy, earthy note in the nose. But it's still got some sweetness. It's like, um, it's like, 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 it's, it, it is a brown sugar, but it, it's more of a like a maple syrup and brown sugar together. It's a very good sweetness on it. You've got some earthiness. You've got a hint of lemon. You've got that, to me, classic earthy, rye, grassy smell that just comes out of the glass. All right, I'm gonna get into the palate of the bourbon first. I'm probably not gonna clean in between. I mean, they're, they're two totally different products. I know that I like them both, so let's get into it. Big punch of cherry. Big punch of cherry. You get a little bit of a grape note. It doesn't have the longest finish. It's already starting to go away. It does have a, um, like a, it does have a thin mouth feel. I will say that. I mean, it comes in at 106.6 proof. Single barrel, selected and bottled exclusively for ABS Montgomery County, Maryland. So, it was a single barrel chosen for Montgomery County. It is very good. It is delicious. It's got, like I said, it's got this, this, it, and it's almost like a date too. It's like a date, a raisin, a nice punch of cherry. The only real knock that I would give it is that it does punch in the nose just slightly and that it's thin. It has a it has a good mouth feel, but it just goes away so fast. 
it, it, it really leaves you wanting a little bit more. But then again, like I said, it's four years old. So to get these notes and flavors out of a four-year bourbon or a little past four years is just is incredible. Let's go into the ride. Mm. More of that, like that maple I was talking about, that brown sugar and maple. It does transfer over to the palate and it's starting to come out more in the glass. As I nose the glass before I took a drink, I do get those grassy notes that come out. I am getting a slight mint note. It's like, um, yeah, like just like this this earthy, minty note that just comes out of the glass when I when I put it in the palate. Believe it or not, the four-year rye actually has a better mouthfeel than the bourbon. And this only comes in at 100 proof. Now, with this one right here being 106.6 proof, almost 107 proof, you would think that this one would have more flavors just jumping and punching. Palette-wise, I would definitely give it to the single barrel. Mouthfeel-wise, goes to the rye all day long. And it surprises me because it has been proofed down. This thing is a little bit, of, it's a little oily. Let's go back in one more time. Yeah, that mintiness is on the front, more towards the back. The grassiness kind of went away. That oiliness, it coats the mouth well. It really coats the mouth well. If the single barrel bourbon had the mouthfeel of this 100 proof rye, it would be incredible for a four year old product. Let's get into the breakdown. There's no chase. I don't believe there's a chase. We all love New Riff. We would like to get our hands on New Riff. At this point, it is becoming more available. I don't see people standing in line like when they say that, hey, this store is about to get New Riff. You're not gonna see people standing in line overnight for it. So I'm not gonna get into a chase. What I pay over retail. The single barrel is great. I'm not gonna pay over retail. It is a four year old product. It is coming in at about $60. Like I said, I believe this one was somewhere between 35 and 50. This one right here, I wouldn't pay over retail for it. I'm not saying that you have to be a rye lover to love this product, but it does have those grassy notes and that can turn some people off. It does have a nice bit of that molasses or uh, brown sugar and maple syrup notes uh, together. The mouthfeel is great. The mouthfeel is good for something that comes in at four years old. So I wouldn't pay over retail for either of these products. Would I give them to a new bourbon drinker? Definitely this one. This one I would give to a new bourbon drinker all day, especially if they had a chance to sample rye, or even if they've never had rye before and they'd like to try it. It comes in at 100 proof, it does not come in hot, it does not come in with a lot of pepper and spices that's just gonna burn your face off. This one right here, however, I would not give this to a new bourbon drinker. This one right here, boy, it punched me in the nose. Yeah, it, it, it got in there. <laughs> at 106.6, 107 proof, it hit me a little bit. So I would not give that to a new bourbon drinker. Will I always have a bottle on the bar? Yes. They are that good that both of these will always be on the bar. If I can, I am going to replenish the rye and I'm gonna replenish the single barrel. You know how it is when it comes to single barrels. They're not always gonna be the same. Once they're gone, they're gone. But I hear so much good stuff about New Riff that they will always be in a bar. I will always take a chance on a single barrel. This rye is so creamy. It does have those grassy notes that may turn some people off, but it is creamy and it offers good flavors. This one right here, some of those cherry notes that I was talking about, this, this thing is just good. For, for both of these to be just over four years old, and I'll read it to you. It says, barrel distilled 1218, barrel bottled 324.22. So for it to be just over four years old and both of these to offer the flavor notes and the nosing notes, they will always be on the bar. With that being said, let the whiskey flow, never run out unless you're headed to a drop. Till next time.